Hello Kules and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. In this episode we are going to be discussing on two stories. Firstly we are going to start with three changes, three possible changes that manager Xavi could make to the starting lineup versus Inter Milan on Tuesday in the Champions League. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then to conclude the episode Talking about Robert Lewandowski in a recent interview where he spoke about summer move, favorite goals, Barcelona young stars, and many more interesting topics. So guys, before we get right into the story in full, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're just coming across my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. The second of Barcelona's eight games in October sees them return to action in the UEFA Champions League. The Catalans travel to Italy to face off against Inter Milan midweek in what is a crucial fixture from the point of view of the group of death after a solid yet unconvincing win over Mallorca at the weekend. Barcelona will be pumped to get back into their free free flowing and goal field style football without a doubt. Xavi Hernandez will make changes to his starting lineup at San Siro and deploy his strongest available lineup. The Nerazzurri have lost their last two Serie A games, considering five goals in the process. They are currently languishing in eighth position in the league standings there and are heading into the clash against Barcelona in a relatively low morale. So, in this episode, we are going to be discussing on the three changes Xavi can make to his lineup on Tuesday that could have a direct bearing on the result. The first change possibly, Pedri for Franquicia. Last season Franquicia was the heart of and soul of AC Milan's midfield. The Ivory Coast International saw Barcelona as the next big step in his career and ran down his contract in Italy to join the Spanish outfit. However, he has found it difficult to see minutes under Xavi this season. He received a rest start at the weekend against Mallorca but was underwhelming for most of the 90. While he did not make any obvious errors, he appeared very sluggish on the ball and lacked the finesse and agility that is expected of a Barca midfielder. So it is very early in the season, we all know that, and the 25-year-old will have a key role to play in games to come with his unique profile. However, manager Xavi will prefer to start Pedri in the decisive game, for the teenager has been Barcelona's best midfielder by far. With his dynamicity, vision and ability on the ball, the Catalans will look to pull the strings in the middle of the park. The second possible change that Xavi could make is bringing on Rafinha for Anso Fati. During the international break, Rafinha played out of his skin for the Brazilian national team. He produced two good goals and two assists in the hiatus from club football, but started on the bench against Mallorca. Though Anso Fati had a good performance on Saturday evening, it is clear that Xavi's first choice attacking trident is that of Usman Dembele, Robert Lewandowski and Rafinha. With so much resting on Tuesday's result, the manager will take no chances and bring back the Brazilian into the starting lineup. The third possible change is Eric Garcia for Jody Alba. Faced with an acute shortage of options at right back, manager Xavi opted to deploy Alejandro Bade at the right back at the right full back position in the last game. As a result, Jordi Alba got a rest start at left back. Yet, the manager will run the young star back to the left side for the game against Inter Milan. The solution is, you know, to this problem could lie in the form of Eric Garcia. The Spanish defender is capable of playing as a right back and could relieve Bade from his estranged position. As an alternative, he could play at centre back alongside Gerard Piquet and Andres Christensen in what could be a change of formation. So those are the three possible changes manager Javi could make from the game against Mallorca heading into the, the very crucial game against Inter Milan in the Champions League. Um, but let's see how it goes. It's not like it's a decisive or it's a conclusive change that I'm just talking about. It's just a possible, as I said, possible changes that Javi can likely make in that encounter. Of course, that game will be so crucial for us to win. Um, after losing that game against Bayern, match day two of the Champions League, a game where we played really well, but it was just unfortunate that we couldn't get the three points, right? We played well at the Allianz Arena, so I think Barca needs to fancy this game. Going to the San Siro to 
to take charge, to have authority of the game, to tell Inter Milan that they are the big boys in that group. Even though it's a group of dead, but Barcelona needs to qualify because if we don't win that match, sorry, it's going to be so, so, so bad for us. So it's a game that we must win because we play Inter Milan home. We play Inter Milan at San Siro, then the next game will still be Inter Milan at the Camp Nou. So that's, that's, that should be six points we need to prioritize. You know, winning that those two games against Inter will be so, so crucial to decide our fate because after that we can play Bayern and play Victoria Pleasant. I think winning Inter Milan back to back will be so crucial. And at least one can now decide that okay, Barca will qualify for the group. You know, so let's see how it's gonna look like. Manager Javi have some tough decisions to make. Talking about the changes that we've just discussed in this episode, it's not gonna be easy though, but I think we are going to do well. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona forward Robert Lewandowski has said that regardless of his future or of his statue of being a potent goal scorer, he believes the long-range goals are keeping him back. Speaking in a candid interview, the veteran striker talked about several aspects including his move to Barcelona and his views on Barcelona's generational talents among many others. But first, he said that he would love to score more goals in long ranges. He said, the goals that come from a distance is missing because I don't move in in these areas much. Although, when asked about his most memorable strikes, the Poland forward was particular to point out the five goals he scored nine minutes while playing for Bayern Munich against Wolfsburg in the German Bundesliga. He said, The five goals I scored in nine minutes are the most memorable goals. They were more important goals, like the one against Portugal in the European Championships, he said. Lewandowski practically forced himself out of Bayern Munich to join Barcelona after a reported falling out with the German champions. Speaking about it, the star forward explained that playing in Spain is something he always dreamt of. He said, I've always wanted to play in La Liga. Living in Spain was my dream and not just in sports. I feel refreshed right now, he said. I didn't talk to anyone from Barcelona before moving. I was personally aware of the club I was going to and I didn't think about what ha was happening in Barcelona. It's a great challenge. I didn't follow exactly what was happening on the internet and I didn't want to follow it because I don't need it, he said. Furthermore, when quizzed about his tenure about um, so far with Barca, Lewandowski said that he thought playing the preseason games would be so difficult because he wasn't particularly prepared. Judging by the performances he put, the 34-year-old said that he himself was surprised with the returns, he said. The preparatory period was tough. I expected it to be weaker. I'm positively surprised. It was similar or even more difficult than it was in Bayern Munich. We are improving every week. With every game, I can see the difference over the weeks. Everything is on the right track, he said. Uh, speaking ahead, the veteran said that he is still in the learning phase of trying to speak Spanish. This is mostly because there were a few players in the dressing room who don't understand English, he said. I am still learning Spanish and I don't understand many things now. And I understand many things now. In the dressing room, there are two or three players who do not even understand English, but the staff and coaches speak English well. Lastly, Robert Lewandowski admitted that he is pretty much surprised with the readiness of the likes of Alejandro Bade, Pedri, and Tufati that they have shown it at such a young age, saying that he is amazed at their maturity. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.